Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, I am going to explain about the Weston Cadmium cell. This is an amazing cell which has an interesting property. So in this video, we are going to see everything about Weston Cadmium cell. So let's start. The Weston cadmium cell is a standard cell that provides a constant EMF for many years. Here, EMF means electromotive force, the force that derives the electron to flow. Let me write that. The Weston cadmium cell is a standard cell. A standard cell that provides a constant EMF that provides a constant EMF. EMF means electromotive force. I have already made a video about EMF. You can check the link in the description below. This cell this cell uses cadmium metal for working so from the word itself cadmium metal is used in this cell for working now let's see the construction and working of this cell the cadmium cell is constructed in h shaped glass tube it looks like this it looks like H and it is made up of glass. So this looks like glass, right? Sorry, this looks like H, but this is made up of glass. Now, some uh, materials or compounds are filled in it. This is the right, this is left, this is positive terminal and this is the negative terminal positive terminal means yes you are correct this is cathode and this is the anode and this here you can see this is the platinum wire platinum wire now what happens we need to put some mercury over here this is mercury okay and on top of that there is this paste of paste of hg2so4 that means mercurious sulfate here you can understand one thing like this see hg2so4 and there is another compound possible that is HgSO4. Hg2SO4 has a structure like this SO4 Hg Hg. The oxidation state of sulfate is minus 2. So obviously it will have plus 1 plus 1 in order to balance it. So what is the oxidation state of 1 mercury over here plus 1. So this is mercurious. And here if you see its structure is Hg2SO4. Here there is 2 minus, there should be 2 plus in order to balance the charge. Here the oxidation state of Hg is more, that is plus 2. So this is mercuric. That's why we call it mercurious sulfate. Okay. And on the other side, on the other side, that is in negative terminal, it is K, uh, cadmium mercury amalgam is kept. And after that, on top of this, there is this other chemical that is kept. I am just making different structure so that we can identify it properly. Uh, let me draw this. Okay. Till here, this is another chemical that is simply denoted by this cross symbol and it is cadmium sulfate crystal. So this whole is cadmium sulfate crystal and on top of this 
we put we put saturated solution of cadmium sulfate so let's understand this figure one more time the tube is at shaped in the positive terminal or plus terminal or cathode in the bottom mercury is kept pure mercury is kept over it paste of hydro, uh, mercurious sulfate is kept and on top of that cadmium sulfate crystal is kept in the left side that is the negative terminal or anode first of all cadmium mercury amalgam is kept on top of that this cadmium sulfate crystal is kept and on top of this like the whole empty part of this tube is filled with saturated solution of cadmium sulfate and then this tube is sealed now our apparatus is completed let's write what we did over here the cell is constructed in h shaped in h shaped glass tube glass tube in positive terminal in positive terminal mercury is taken taken and mercurious sulfate is added over it and finally sorry and cadmium sulfate crystal crystal is put on top of that on top of that on the other hand in negative terminal that is an anode cadmium mercury amalgam is kept and cadmium sulfate crystal is kept over it over it the remaining the remaining part is filled by cadmium sulfate solution and the tube is sealed so this is the this is the working of uh, western cadmium electrode the seal is now completed completed it provides it provides an emf of 1.0182 volt so this cell will now provide an emf of 1.0182 volt always the emf will never change okay and this will remain constant for many years that's why we use this cell as a standard cell to compare other cells now let's see which reaction takes place in oxidation and reduction half we know that at negative terminal oxidation reaction takes place oxidation means loss of electron so at anode this cadmium mercury amalgam will break and it will give cd2 plus plus mercury plus two electrons here you can see over here the charge is plus two there are two electrons so the charge is balanced and this is the oxidation reaction so this reaction happens this reaction happens at anode or negative terminal similarly at cathode at cathode we know that reduction reaction occurs reduction means gain of electron that mercurious sulfate will gain this two electron and it will form mercury actually two mercury plus sulfate ions so this will get broken by taking two electrons and it will form two mercury and two sulfate ions as you can see over sorry one sulfate ion as you can see over here here in the left side there is two negative sign in the right side as well there is two negative sign right so this 
sign is balanced over here this is reduction reaction reduction reaction and we know that the overall reaction taking place in a cell is simply the sum of oxidation half and reduction half right the overall reaction is the overall reaction is let's just add them okay we can see over here this 2e minus in left side this 2e minus in right side they will get cancelled out right then in left side what will we get cd as g plus this mercurious sulfate in the right side what will we get there is two mercury plus one mercury means three mercury three as g plus there is cd two plus plus so4 minus minus so this is the overall redox reaction redox reaction we know that redox reaction simply means the combination of oxidation and reduction reaction so in this case even oxidation reaction is also happening and reduction reaction is also happening that's why this is called a redox reaction and this cell provides a constant emf for many years the value of constant emf was 1.0182 volt that is the constant emf that's why we use this cell for standard purpose to compare and find out the emf of other cell as well i hope you understood everything about the weston cadmium cell that's all in this video if you like the video please share this video as much as you can and thank you for watching the video